Scourge. Watch the left hook. Boom. Gonzalez was gone from the moment of that left hook. It just took another couple of blows to get him to the canvas. Now at this point, he was clearly... Fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing burgundy. Official weight, 121 pounds. His professional record, 33 victories, including 28 knockouts with four defeats. The challenger is Ciudad de Mexico, Johnny Across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black, trimmed with silver, official weight, 122 pounds. His professional record, 40 victories, including 30 knockouts, only three defeats. Tambien de Ciudad de Mexico, the reigning, defending, WBC Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Israel Magnifico. Trunks are okay on both sides. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to caution you, obey my commands at all times. Keep the fight clean at all times. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck, Venezuela. Touch up. Advantage, he's so much longer. Left hook grazes across. Vasquez starting to get a little. Gonzalez blocked that left hook. Right sure he got his attention. Now Vasquez goes. Very economical to lure him in to an opening. Vasquez. We worked together with Nassim Hamid. He couldn't believe all of the Mexicans he saw there. He was surprised to see no big guys. Yeah, he said, said, what, <laughs> what, these are all little guys, Emmanuel, right? Yeah, I say, what's going on? We're up the way. Vasquez landed a couple of solid punches. Right, right, yeah. Keeping every other, and even when he, he creates range. Yep, and he's jabbing. It'll be interesting to see if Vasquez can maintain his complete and stay in his envelope and keep trying to find out. Good power shots in there. Compared to the, the fire of the first fight. Um, toe to toe boxing. Gonzalez the taller. Good left hook inside by Gonzalez. The jab keeps Israel Vasquez at range. Gonzalez still getting the best of it well into round two. To successfully step inside his jab and fire at but, something done. But he couldn't get a rhythm. Once he landed that one jab or so right away, Gonzalez went right back. He never let him get a really good one, and that's about it. But Gonzalez has the long armed Oscar Larios at the end of last mm. year, and he said, Yes, he's more technically skilled, he's a better defender. Range. He uses range even when he shoots his punches. He one of them jabs, landings. I think his best punch is his uppercut. He's been nowhere near close enough to throw. It's a sparring session. Hard right hand by Gonzalez over the top. Vasquez wanted to answer back right away. Looking off the jab again. Leads with the left hook. Lands the one two across the top. Vasquez has nothing with which to answer. Nope. Finally, a good body shot. Tonight. And the blood blister outside his right eye is is this is averaging 11 more jabs per round and total punches for Vasquez, who is dumped right on the seat of his pants by yeah, a left yeah. hook. He, he's been so frustrated Six, in, in trying to seven, figure a way to get in that he eight, okay. that he can't even think and see punches is coming at him. Right, and the jabs set up that hook. Yeah, it's, that's what he's working on. He's working the Jeff left hand so much that Vasquez is having problems. Oh, himself. he rocks Gonzalez with a big right hand inside. Vasquez had left and he found out. Absolutely right. Body punches by Gonzalez, but better than Vasquez is handling the distraction of his damaged right eye. Of Gonzalez gets the screen. Vasquez right. lands another left hook. Gonzalez with a right across the top. Gonzalez is a classy stand-up machine. Boxer tonight. puncher. Yeah. Great four-punch combination by Gonzalez there. Vasquez with two fighters. They was a Mexican. Good determination. I think he hasn't invested. Here you see that the left hand has been having Vasquez so confused for manly jabs, and he's been looking for a jab, and he got caught with a left hook that he didn't even see because he was looking for a jab to come instead. Above the temple on the top of the head, and it's amazing yeah. how many times you'll see a guy go down from that shot. Yeah, yes. And here Vasquez coming. Now it's a chance that he got to land a punch because Gonzalez came a little more aggressive. Outside. He's got to jab his way in. No, he's in with a good body. Find a way to get in and then you forget and get caught yourself. Clean left hook. Land with the length and the range of Gonzalez. Not that easily done He's against a guy. The whole night. That's Gonzalez's one. Good Vasquez. 
in, in fighting. And a nosebleed sometimes is very difficult to stop. You can stop by. Oh, good body shot by Gonzalez. Ripping Vasquez yeah. twice. The what you see is what you're going to get. A completely. <laughs> Harold needs his minute in the spotlight. Doesn't he, though? The producers would prefer that you say 20 seconds, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good body. He's fighting a near-perfect fight. Yeah, he's moving in, not punching. Never lose to keep him from getting his confidence up. He's just 26 years old, just turned 26 recently, so if this fight keeps going the way it is, he excites people is another. thought that Dwayne Wade's misplaced earlier in a really rough fight. Joan Guzman yes, of Dominican sir. Republic beat Jorge Barrios of Argentina by oh. decision. There's a beautiful was... left hook and the second knockdown of the fight. And that... Second time that Vasquez has been down. And was... six. And I think seven. Eight. Okay. That one hurt Vasquez. Maybe not Five. physically so much as it was a punctuation. And this is what's been one of the problems because he cannot tell whether Gonzalez is going to throw a jab or a hook. He's been really mixing up his left hand wonderfully tonight. That was a perfect example, perfect. hooking off the table. Yeah, he looked. He was looking for a hook to come on the outside, but the hook came short between the gloves instead. Brilliant. Boxing skill, left hook, a couple of power punches that mean something. Vasquez just hasn't gotten much done. Harold Letterman, how do you have it so far? Okay, Jim, six to nothing. Six talk about ring generalship all the time. This is beautiful ring generalship. He keeps it at the end of that hand. The gym sets up the left hooks and his straight right hands. Six to nothing, Gonzalez. And Gonzalez looks like he really wants to finish this in sensational style. Uh, is that a mistake? No, no, I'm thinking, no, he's landing enough punches. He, he can yeah, he can gamble. It is a gamble. And that's what's been so good. He'll come right back to keep uh, Vasquez from getting but what needs a knockout. I believe he does, Mr. Preston. I don't know if it will happen, but I just looking at his facial expression, he's never lost his determination and he's still punching with full power. I agree. I think he's gonna go out on his shield. Get right hand in. There it is. Knocks there Gonzalez is. down with a right, right hand. <laughs> yep. Yep. Well, I think we told you he wouldn't win. Yeah, great right hand. He, he, he never Seven. lost his determination. You can see okay. that in his face. That's why big punches are never out of the fight. That's why yeah. Vasquez is never out of the fight. And Gonzalez may really be hurt here. He's in trouble. Because he was Look just holding on. on. But, he's, but he's doing what he should do. Clinch. Don't care what the crowd say. Just clinch. Don't trade punches while you're hurt like this. Well, that got Dallas the crowd's buying attention. Buying time, buying time. <laughs> Kenny Bayless watching. Dallas effectively up. buys another five seconds. Doesn't have his legs back yet. Vasquez still looking for another big shot. Gonzalez starts to throw again. Now this is becoming what the fans want to see. Ten seconds left in the round. Vasquez searching and searching. Gonzalez professionally makes it out of the stop, round. Stop, stop, stop. Him up. Good fight. What we can see here was basically Gonzalez got too close and he trying to throw a short punch at a short distance. Vasquez with the short hands was more accurate and his punch got through a lot better. Because Gonzalez has had room. He has a loop in his shots. And it was simply just a case of being too close. You get close to Israel Vasquez, you're asking. 18 out of 36, Gonzalez 18 out of 38. Most and important of Vasquez. of Vasquez. Suddenly he came out thinking, I got a chance here. But I think both guys have a lot of confidence now. And you're right, Vasquez is, and Gonzalez doesn't have the same. Fighting. He's got to get back. He's fighting a little too close now. And there's another knock that, nope, wow. Kenny Bayless is going to say it was a push. But there was a body shot in there that did damage. Too close now. I didn't see what happened there because because you're you're not hit. That's one thing. If you go Gun, down, Gun, Gun, Gonzalez is fighting. Let him get too close now. Gonzalez has knocked Vasquez down twice and has won the round. Vasquez has yeah. knocked Gonzalez down once. In the face of Israel Vasquez now as he searches, searches for another opportunity to. His rhythm again. He's, he's trying to take control of the Good fight. Good left hook by Vasquez. Right hand. 
But he's taking control of the fight again. He's starting to let his he's punches go again. He's when he control. lets his hands go, he... Good right hand by Gun Down and hurt seriously. He's come back and won the very next... Well, I don't think... Vasquez, this isn't important to him to win rounds. It's important. Now that was what was ruled not a knockdown, and yeah, it was the, the, it was a, it was a punch. one percent on the power shots. That's much higher than before. Gonzalez, 95 out of 209 in power shots, 45 percent touches on what would be a rousing decision victory, or so it would appear. And Vasquez looking for a knockout, lands a big left hook, yeah. and hurts Gonzalez. Not yeah. that badly though. Here comes Johnny coming back. But the blood starts to flow again, liberally from the nose. Stop, 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 stop. That's got to be a distraction, Emmanuel. That's very you know, strong with the punching eye. But the thing about it is you have to watch Gonzalez still punches with pretty good power. Yeah, and keeps Vasquez on the defensive and now loses his balance. That's for Vasquez. Gonzalez is still a gangly type. Low blow. Got worn. Right with a right hand that could have done some damage. Well, you can oh, look at the power he's left uppercut that and he better watch it. Don't, get, don't get caught by himself because still Gonzalez is still punching pretty hard himself. Oh. And Vasquez can get a little too overconfident and get caught himself if you don't watch. Well, no pain, no gain. He's got to take those chances now. Yep. Oh, he's won this round with big shots, that's for sure. But winning rounds isn't gonna help him much now. Trying to get a knockout and hurting Gonzalez throughout the round. Gonzalez doesn't look too good. I think the physical strength is taking his total now. All right, let's get into the locker room and hear Joe Cortez. Seven rounds to two. 87, 81, Johnny Gonzalez. Jim. Between rounds, Gonzalez had his mouthpiece out in the corner. Vasquez's face is a swollen mass. His nose may be broken up around the bridge. There's a low blow by Gonzalez. Time. Or would, would initiate a deduction. Good left hook by Vasquez, and he's wobbled Gonzalez again, and there's the second knockdown that Vasquez scores of Gonzalez, and Gonzalez Five, doesn't look good. No. Six, seven, Physically, the this, this strength is taking his toll. They're waving the flag in Johnny's corner. What are they Vasquez doing has won the fight. They're throwing in the towel in Johnny Gonzalez's corner. Oh I don't believe this. Chavez Taylor all over. Why did his corner, with a minute to go in the round, do they know their fighters so well that they saw it, thought he had nothing left? Blood and, or legs. And he was winning that round to me up until the knockdown. I don't understand why they threw in the towel or called for the end of the fight. Oscar Suarez and Johnny Gonzalez's father together came to the apron to throw in the towel. And you, you could, wonder if that was his father making that decision. Nope, I'm told now. The interpreter, Ray Torres, is telling us that the father did not want the fight stopped and that it was Suarez who is training him in, in this fight for the very first time. Which again makes it even more puzzling. Ray Torres, our interpreter in the corners. What happened in Johnny Gonzalez's corner? I think uh, Suarez precipitated that call. I think that uh, uh, Gonzalez's dad didn't even know. I asked him why they stopped the fight. He said, I don't know. I didn't stop it. Unbelievable. So Oscar Suarez brought in to train Johnny Gonzalez ahead of Gonzalez's father who's had him his whole career. In his first chance to train Gonzalez, he throws in the towel and stops a fight that Gonzalez had won on the scorecard. In all probability. And it won that round up until the knockdown. Well, in all probability. And, but and while, while we're puzzled over that, we still have to give Vasquez Great in, credit. a yeah. ton of credit. Uh, yeah. The highest marks because he was so far behind in this fight and didn't allow himself to get discouraged. Watch the left hook. Boom. Gonzalez was gone from the moment of that left hook. It just took another couple of blows to get him to the canvas. Now, at this point, he was clearly waiting out the counter manual. Yeah, but, I, you know, you can see what's very weak, you know. You know, I could kind of see it to some degree why Suarez maybe stopped him. Because you could, it looked like even though he was winning around maybe and may beat the count, Everything I'm looking at his body and his facial expression was he was done. He is, he does look done. He's I will grant he, that. He looks done. But this is such a big fight for him, such an important fight. He is a, such a well-schooled fighter. Can't you give him the chance to survive the round? 
Well, maybe Suarez was thinking Vasquez is simply too big a puncher against which to take that chance. That there was too much chance that Johnny would get hurt. Yeah, I don't. I don't think the results would have changed at all. I think Vasquez would have knocked him out regardless, and maybe this even been more brutal. But, what a determined, know. gutty performance by Israel Vasquez. Now, we're going to watch this replay on which you'll see that after the knockdown, as the count takes place, Vasquez spots the fact that Gonzalez's corner wants to stop the fight. And Vasquez is the one who alerts Bayless to what's going on because Bayless at that moment apparently had his back to it. I see this. Kenny Bayless turns his back. And now Vasquez yells, look, look, they want to stop it. And there's the white flag. And it's Suarez who is waving the towel. Now, the way he got up there, he got up smartly. I mean, he got yeah. up like a, a, a military guy getting up off the floor. He just straightened right up. Didn't we, were in, we were in the 10th round. And Larry, excuse me, Gonzalez was leading 85-83, 85-83, 86-82. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official particulars on the knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the MGM Grand, referee Kenny Bayless calls a halt to this contest as the challenger, Johnny Gonzalez, is unable to continue. The official time, two minutes, nine seconds of round number 10 in one of the great performances in this division. From Ciudad de Mexico, still the reigning WBC Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Israel Magnifico Vasquez.